Caribbean Crisis 2.0. Russian missiles may appear in Cuba. After severing all friendly and unfriendly ties with the West, Russia turned its attention to developing countries for lack of alternatives. The Kremlin has already announced that it expects the visit of the Cuban president and the press secretary of the head of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Peskov, calls Cuba a very important partner with whom there will definitely be topics for dialogue. What does the upcoming meeting between Miguel Diaz Canal and Putin mean, said political scientist Rostislav Ischenko. He said in November a monument to Fidel Castro will be unveiled in Russia. If we consider that Cuba supports the Russian Federation and casts its vote for it in the UN, then the ties will intensify in the economy for sure. The island has been under blockade for 60 years. Havana is trying to maneuver and avoid the mistakes made by the leaders of the post-Soviet space after the collapse of the Soviet Union. This country needs support from Russia. Whether Russian missiles will appear in Cuba is unclear. Exactly 60 years have passed since 1962. The Soviet Union could and did seize the opportunity to hit the Americans in the teeth in response to the deployment of missiles in Cuba. They refused to deploy nuclear weapons in Turkey. True, even now Russian missiles, 20 minutes after launch, will hit any American city. With strategic aviation and nuclear submarines, Russia is also all right. Washington on a laser sight. If necessary, a base for the Russian fleet can be placed on the island, but the Russian Navy in this case requires a permanent presence in the Caribbean Sea. In this case, both Moscow and Havana will negotiate in such a way as not to bring the situation to an escalation. However, cooperation between countries in the field of military-industrial complex will develop. It is curious what the West is ready to do in response.